This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 460, How to Sell with No Assumptions. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers. And have you ever tried to sell a prospect something that they really didn't want? Did you do it because it's the only thing you had that's remotely close to what the buyer needs? This is a terrible position to be in, right? Lao Tzu teaches that the master has no mind of their own, only the mind of the people. We do this by not assuming what's best for them, instead adopting a helpful attitude. How do you sell with no assumptions? That's the topic for today. But before we get started, make sure and subscribe to the podcast on whatever app that you're listening to, and also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and myself on LinkedIn. You can find links in the show notes. And now today's chapter, The Blank Canvas. Some clients see their desires clearly, while others have blurred vision. Some buyers are honest, while others work an angle. The master seller views each sale a blank canvas. They have no mind of their own. They work with the mind of the buyer and paint what the prospect sees. No matter their intent, they nurture clients as parents nurture children. And now today's story. Chris offered solution after solution to Lee, but Lee wasn't buying it. The harder Chris tried, the harder Lee pushed back. Chris wasn't getting anywhere. I don't know what to do, said Chris. I feel like I've tried everything. Pat responded, Have you tried restarting from square one? Sometimes going back to the primary issue is the path forward. Head shaking, Chris said, that's going to take forever. We've already gone over all that. Have you said, Pat? Absolutely. Then why isn't Lee buying? Chris paused, then paused again. Pat then spoke. I think you're trying to put a square peg in a round hole. The solutions we've offered aren't solutions. Let's not assume and start with the blank slate. Let's move the deal forward by going backward. According to the French post-impressionist painter Paul Cezanne, quote, It's so fine and yet so terrible to stand in front of a blank canvas. End quote. This is true of selling, too. If the prospects could do it for themselves, they would. But this is the thing. They can't. It's for us to help them paint the solution. Trust buyers who are trustworthy. And also trust those who aren't trustworthy. This is real trust. Trust yourself and trust that you can help them, if they want help. If they don't, that's their call. To download a copy of this week's Dow of Sales Babble chapter, you can find it in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com. And if you could do me a favor and share this episode with a friend, just one person who's interested in growing their selling skills, that would really help. Next, did you know that podcasting is the easiest way of turning your executives into thought leaders with content that reaches your ideal clients? Haven't you heard that podcasting is the new blogging? Learn more about Abenero Media, that's Abenero with an H, my podcasting agency for B2B brands. Let me help you start a podcast that will accelerate your sales today. Go to abaneromedia.net to reach me. Let's talk about what you can do to stand out from the competition.
With that said, that's all I've got for this week. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble Podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.